Hello and a warm welcome to Aether 4 News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Nigeria's President Muhammad Buhari says transition to digital economy is no longer optional for ministries, departments and agencies because it is an absolute necessity. This follows the launch of the e-government master plan which will drive and guide the process. President Buhari therefore directed MDAs to comply with ongoing transition of all government operations to digital platforms for enhanced efficiency in service delivery and more interagency synergy. The president gave the directive in Abuja on Thursday at the opening ceremony of the e Nigeria 2019 conference on the Nigerian digital economy. Buhari said that the digitization of key operations in public service, such as the use of the bank verification number BVN, Treasury Single Account TSA and the Integrated Payroll and Personal Information System, has enabled the government to save costs and fight corruption. The National Universities Commission and the Directors of Information and Communications Technology of Nigerian Universities on Thursday presented a draft on an ICT policy framework in Abuja. This framework is to make useful inputs in the draft document in order to refine the ICT needs of Nigerian universities. 84 TV radios and James reports. The goal of this framework is to ensure the efficient deployment and use of ICT in teaching, learning and research to set a standard for Nigerian universities. ICT director from the University of Africa Toro Rua Bayosa State sees the framework as a guideline to follow and to boost the learning environment in terms of ICT in Nigerian universities. Today's event is uh, like most uh, wanted event for Nigerian universities. I appreciate the management of Nigerian uh, university system to bringing the ICT operations of various universities of Nigeria. A professor from Benson Idahosa University, Benin City, speaks on the relevance of ICT to Nigerian institutions. This is an opportunity for us to share experiences, to rub minds, to interact, and at the end of the day, under the umbrella and guidance of the National University, National University Commission, we can come up with a policy that will drive ICT in teaching, learning, research, administration in the Nigerian University system moving forward. In line with the framework policy, Dr. Ademola Daramola for the Augustine University says the world is ICT driven, which is an important part of learning in the Nigerian educational system. It guides the director, the lecturers, the staff and students of Nigerian universities on the use, the materials, the devices that are being used for ICT and how to maximize the knowledge of ICT in learning, research, and teaching in these universities. It is a very welcome exercise that AUC, being the you know, uniting body for all the universities in Nigeria, to have a common ICT policy from which individual universities will you know, extract those things that are peculiar to them. The director of ICT from the Federal University of Technology, Akure, says the NUC is set to standardize the output of ICT and to get positive results. The policy actually is geared. The, the aim is just to standardize the ICT implementation all over the universities, I mean Nigerian universities, which I think is a good step in the right direction. Some of the highlights is the procurement, the training, the dissemination of information, which I think I really support. Anne James, reporting for AD4 TV Radio News, Abuja. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees says it has registered no fewer than 46,000 Cameroonian refugees in Nigeria. UNHC, our country representative in Nigeria, Antonio Kanhandule, disclosed these at a news briefing in Abuja. They said that the refugees from Anglophone Cameroon are in Benway, Cross River and Tarabi State. 
citing statistics from the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons. Kanhandule said the 46,000 are not the total number of Cameroonian refugees in Nigeria, but the ones registered by the body. He also said Nigeria has many of its citizens displaced due to the Boko Haram insurgency in the Northeast crisis, with Nigeria recording 94,000 internally displaced persons in Cameroon, 12,000 in Chad, and 112,000 in Niger Republic. No fewer than 30 inmates serving various jail terms at Nigeria's Correctional Center in George, Plateau State, are currently participating in the ongoing November-December Senior School Certificate Examination. Martha Bande, the Public Relations Officer of the Plateau Command of the Nigerian Correctional Service, disclosed this in JOS. According to Bande, 28 male and 2 female inmates are sitting for the examination organized by National Examination Council within the correctional facility. She explained that the remove is part of the mandate of the service to boost the reformation process of inmates so they can be useful to themselves and the society after serving their jail term. World Health Organization says measles has killed more than 5,000 people in the Democratic Republic of Congo since the beginning of the year. Kate O'Brien, director of WHO's immunization department, told reporters in Geneva that the number is more than double the toll in the country's Ebola epidemic. According to the WHO, the DRC measles outbreak is one of the largest outbreaks the organization had seen worldwide. In Still Talking Health, the Association of Nigerian Health Journalists held its third annual health conference in Abuja on Thursday. The annual health conference is part of a conscious effort to discuss ways to help moderate Nigeria's population as well as stimulate suggestions that will improve health care delivery. Precious Anyogu was there. The theme for the conference is Nigeria's growing population. Any hope to achieving universal health coverage and Sustainable Development Goals 3. The Minister of Health, Dr. Emmanuel Osage, in his opening remarks said the state of health care in Nigeria is not hopeless. He emphasized on the importance of human capital development, which plays a vital role in a developing society. The administration of President Muhammad Buhari is committed to institutionalizing policies to strengthen Nigeria's health sector through development of human capital, capacity, and improving the infrastructure and positioning the health system for better, better health care behavior. The event had in attendance experts who spoke on whether this year's theme can be actualized. The system can be perfected. And when it is perfected, I know with the resolve of our presidency and the National Assembly, we can work together to provide a better way that we can achieve. Let me also uh, say that Nigeria, we have human personal uh, capacity that can develop uh, ideas that can move this nation forward. But the issue is, when we come to implementations, that's where we have some problems. Some stakeholders in the health sector believe there should be more avenues to discuss ways towards improving Nigeria's health sector and moving it to the next level. I don't see why we should not be able to get to uh, be able to make SG3 before the year 2030. The reason is that, let's take even for example uh, maternal mortality. Uh, some years ago, uh, maternal mortality was so high, a lot of people felt there's nothing that could be done. But uh, a few of us said something can be done and we conceptualized the midwifery service scheme. For women that are not married but sexually active, 85% of them want to take family planning but they are failing to take, they, they can't get it. If this people, or if we as a country are able to give even these people that know about it and want to take it, we will see a situation where ch children will be well spaced, family will be healthy, women will be more able to contribute to national development, and of course, the number of children women are having will reduce, and that way we will have a more healthy population. Precious Anyogo, reporting for AD4 TV Radio News. Abuja. A Chinese man has been hospitalized after more than 700 tapeworms were found in his body, including his brain and lungs. 
46-year-old Zhu Zhongfa of Zhejiang province in East China suffered seizures after he ate uncooked pork. Doctors said the worm larvae made their way to his brain through the bloodstream after entering his body through the digestive system. Medical personnel at the affiliated hospital of Zhejiang University School of Medicine said the larvae of the tapeworms have been killed using antiparasitic drugs and prescribed medication to protect his organs. It is however unclear whether Zhongfa will suffer any long-term effects from the infection. And that's our package at this moment on AD4 News Update. Coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital. Don't forget you can join the conversation on our website at www.ad4tvradio.com. You can like and subscribe to our YouTube page at AD4TV Radio. Follow us on our social media handles at AD4TV Radio on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. Many thanks for watching. I am Merciful Ajinomo.